If we had a pub, we'd welcome all sorts of things. Wonder, glee, joy and good times. One thing we definitely bar though, is doom. Bar. We doom bar. Pretty weak start. Welcome back to Pine Sized. Welcome back to Pine Sized everyone. Thanks for checking in. Sorry about lack of episodes. What the hell is going on? You remember our previous episode, which wasn't released that long ago. <clears throat> oh no. It was all about Sharp's Brewery based in Cornwall. And on that show we mentioned the UK's best selling cask beer, which is Doom Bar. And we've got a bottle of it for the show today. Lucky us. What's happened to our beer supply? As I said, Doom Bar is the number one best selling cask beer in the UK. It's made by Sharp's out of Cornwall, who are owned by Molson Coors. It comes in these lovely clear bottles, similar to Corona. Oh, are we, are we good? Okay, we good. guess we carry on. The real life Doom Bar is a sandbar. <laughs> on the River Camel in Cornwall. It formed ages ago and shat all over the economic prosperity of Padstow. All right, Padstow. Sorry about that shitty old Doom Bar. And I'm not talking about sandbar. It's a 4% Amber Ale first brewed in 1995 and it's now got a new type. This is Doom Bar Zero. That was pretty cool. It's an alcohol-free version of Doom Bar. The weird thing about this is I couldn't really find anything online about it. Uh, press releases, nothing on the website, and the the writing and everything on the bottle is exactly the same as it is on Doom Bar. They've just added the word zero in. Now there's nothing about, you know, alcohol-free. Ooh, you can go to the spa after one of these. You can do that after beer but it's less enjoyable. Dubai is an unusual beer. Uh, some people absolutely love it and would die for it. And some people loathe it and wish it would die. Actually, I don't think anyone hates it. I think some people just go meh. People that love it, love the biscuity. Mm, blueberry sessionability, lovely price tag, bottle and name. They probably love the fact that it's available almost everywhere. Uh, yeah, the price, as I said, is usually mm, multi -benefit. Three pundos, oh yeah. And people have this weird affinity with things from Cornwall, uh, even though the bottle version of this is actually made in Burton-on-Trent. Um, yeah, the cask version is still made down in Cornwall by Sharps. But yeah, people, stuff from Cornwall, people just warm towards, which is great, because Cornwall's great. Small disclaimer, today we're drinking the bottled version of Doombar that's made in Burton-on-Trent. Not the one, not the cask one, obviously, because this is in a bottle. <clears throat> Did I need to say that? Because of its popularity, the opinion pieces and reviews on this beer are enough to absorb you for a couple of hours online. I mean, you've got Hopzine saying stuff like this. Insipid shite. You've got Simon from Real Life Craft Beer saying things like this. So try it with some cheddar. Be sure to get some in. Give it a go. Wow. What? And then you've got more journalistic pieces, which are actually fascinating reads from people like Boke and Bailey. I'm going to put all the links to all of those videos and uh, articles in the description below. I check them out after this video. As I said, we've got the non-alcoholic version of Doom Bar on the show today. It's probably just because everyone's dipping their toe into alcohol-free beers. But this is a really interesting one for me because, I mean, who's drinking this? Who's going to buy this genuinely? Is it the Bex Blue buying designated driver? The craft beer lover who is trying to kind of mellow out during the week. Or ignorant and inquisitive beer tubers. So let's take our shoes and socks off and wade out into those murky beige waters that surround the dangerously deceptive Doom Bar. So here we go, Doom Bar from Sharps Brewery out of Rock in Cornwall. As I said, clear bottle, and you can see lovely amber color in there. Uh, aroma, spicy resinous hop, sweet roasted malts, balanced succulent dried fruit taste, Finish is Moorish. And eat it with fish. Mmm, fish. I picked this one up in my local Morrison supermarket, which is a supermarket, uh, for probably around a pound. So there we are in the glass. Unfortunately, it's not uh, Harvey's, as the glass would say. Um, yeah, fingers worth, off white head. Mmm, tiny little bubbles. Nice and creamy top as well. Delicious amber color. Oh, changing hands. Changing camera. Let's give it a whiff. Oh yeah, okay. Biscuity and fruity. 
Kind of raisiny. Mm, miss, miss adding Y's on the end of words. There's a biscuit, what's it called? It's not rich tea. It's got fruit in it. I think it's called a fruit, fruit shortcake biscuit. That's what it is, weird crinkly around the crinkles. Kind of smells a bit like that. Yeah, just biscuits, roasted, kind of a little bit buttery bread. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, welcome back. Mm. Oh, that's, oh yeah. Ah, molto bene, molto bene. Okay, I mean, sessionable. Case in point, right there. Nice carbonation to it, actually. Uh, coming out of the bottle. Insipid shite. A little bit of bitterness running through, almost disguised towards the end as a bit of a dry finish, which is really quite nice. It's moreish. It's not as watery as I remember. Got it chilled nicely. You've just got dried fruit, kind of saurine, but not the buttered one. The aroma that was there is kind of gone. You've just got an unbuttered piece of saurine. And I'm not talking about that mini shit, not the tiny little loaves. We're going full loaf. Full saurine loaf. Maybe a little bit drab, a little bit bland, but I'm not going to complain. Don't know whether I'd get it out. Probably get barred for doing that. Me, 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 me. Sorry, it's, it's a cup of, you know what it is? It's a cup of black tea, no milk, with a wedge of saurine. If you don't know what saurine is, who are you? Get the fuck out of this channel. I'm going to enjoy the last third of that. I'm going to enjoy it right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. So that was Doombar. What else can you say? Insipid shit. Let's see what the non-alcoholic version is like and whether I'm going to buy it. I'm never going to buy it again. I already know that. So here we are. Uh, Doombar Zero. 0.0% 0 .0 amber ale. Balanced and moorish. Exactly the same bottle as I said. They just flipped the colours. You know, spicy resinous hop. Balanced taste. Dried fruit. Moorish finish. White fish and Sunday roasts. Let's see what it can do. <laughs> if you're someone that's seen this and thought, Ooh, I like the look of that. Let me know in the comments and... What's, what kind of demographic are you? Are you a non-alcoholic man? Non-alcoholic woman? Oh, that smells like old burnt butts. There we are in the glass. It's actually a lot darker than Doombar. The head is gone. Um, big bubbles. White head. Yeah, not much, not much going on in the glass. But yeah, a lot darker. Roasted colour. Almost kind of a. Almost like an old tree. Let's give it a smell. Oh, that. Oh, that is. Wow. Oh, okay, we mentioned coconut coins on a previous episode. Yeah, coconut coins. You know when you go to the coconut bank, all I've got left is coconut coins. Hmm, smells like wet coconut coins. What the fuck is going on? But this is pure diamond coins. Yeah, that's just super metallic, coppery smell. It smells like pure electricity. Yeah, that's, oh, that's weird. A little bit sweet, but then very metallic. It smells like a brewery. It smells like an old bag of breweries. It smells like going around Berries and Edmonds. Good times. Cheers. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. That is fishy. Pairs well with white fish. Tastes like white fish. Oh yeah. It tastes way too much like really, really overly malty. Not. There's not getting any kind of fruit to cut through it there. It's just straw, roasted malts. A little bit too dark. Very metallic. Not a very pleasant finish to be honest. Oh, I'm hating that. Well, I'm absolutely fucking hating that. Oh fucking. Oh. That is not a good non alcoholic beer. I think you could do far better than that if you're looking for that. Looking to recreate that. Mmm, I'm at a pub. I've got three pounds and I don't want to get drunk tonight. Barkeep, Doombar Zero. Don't do it on cask, okay. Let's make it Doombar. Look like Pliny the Elf. Oh no, that's gross. So there you go. Doombar, quite enjoyed it. You know, bit of a guilty pleasure. Sessionable biscuit, cheap price tag, Cornwall slash Staffordshire. What more could you want? And Doombar Zero tasted like manure that you've got out of Fort Knox because it's covered in gold. It's gold smell? I don't know. Unsubscribe. What's going on? So that's all we have time for. Thanks so much for coming back. Um, sorry about the lack of episodes. Going to try and get back on a bit more of a regular schedule. Yeah, things have been weird. Um, Becky and I had to postpone our wedding that we had in June in Italy. We've now moved that to 2021. So yeah, that was pretty heartbreaking to do. Um, but yeah, obviously bigger picture, people are having a far worse time of it than we are. Um, so yeah, just stay safe guys, I'll try and do more episodes, because then you've got a reason to stay in! I'm not going outside in the sun, I'm going to stay in, see someone drinking non-alcoholic Doom Bar and describing it like manure in Fort Knox. Oh Christ. That just leaves me to say thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and... It's just a stay in touch, guys, because uh, it's a weird old time. And I'll see you next time with another brilliant beer, accompanied with a mediocre beer.
in sipping shy.